Ghanaian schools, Bombo Karure Campus, and Kabalagala. Due to their firm educational background, we have the best facilities in both arts and sciences, fully updated to the latest sector standards, right from senior one to senior six, in an environment that offers a chance to apply practical skills in all fields. That include a computer lab, introducing our students to the tech world, a well-organized science laboratory, a fully stocked library with all the essential books a student may need, a model farm to equip students with all the basic knowledge in agriculture plus extra vocational skills. We promote co-curricular activities in sports like badminton, table tennis, basketball, volleyball, chess, and many more other activities. Register your child today at both campuses in Bombo Kalule and Kabalagala campus. For more information, contact us on the numbers below. In the month of June, we shall begin the mass enrollment and mass renewal exercise. And this exercise has an impact on everybody in this country. Provided they are alive and born in this country, and they are a citizen of this country, this exercise has an impact on them. This exercise will cover every piece of ground in this country. It will take place at the 10,717 parishes in this country. Because it involves almost everybody in this country and is going to take place in every part of this country, it is something that we need to begin to discuss, to share views, and also to create awareness and education about. In the next few weeks and months, we shall answer questions on what is mass enrollment, why must we have mass enrollment, when will it take place, where will it take place. We'll also answer things and questions around citizenship, we will answer questions around biometrics. Why biometrics? Why are, we, why are we adding a biometric? And all those aspects about mass enrollment that are important for every citizen of this country. It is an exercise that will make us proud as Ugandans. It is our time to rejoice in being a Ugandan. I always tell Ugandans, we have problems, we have differences, but we are proudly Ugandan. And nothing tells us about our being Ugandan like our national identification numbers and our national IDs. They are a mark of our identity. The National Identification and Registration Authority exists to create, to manage, and maintain a national identification register. Every Ugandan, whether they live in Uganda or in the diaspora, We have some Ugandans who live within the confines and borders of our 231,000 square kilometers. But we have so many Ugandans who don't necessarily live within the confines of our current borders. Every Ugandan, regardless of age, regardless of sex, regardless of religion, 
regardless of background, regardless of occupation, regardless of tribe, regardless of clan, is entitled to a national identification number. Every Ugandan above the age of 16 is entitled to a national identification card. During this exercise, we shall add the iris to our national identification register. In terms of our biometrics, we currently have the face and 10 fingerprints for those who have them. The good thing is that everybody has a face. So I want to speak to the inclusiveness of the register. We are not going to re register refugees as Ugandans. We are only registering who? Ugandans. So if you are a refugee, Do not, this exercise is not for you. If you live in Kampala and you speak Rutoro, you cannot apply to be a registration assistant in Kawarole district. You must leave Obera, Osula, Norara in that area. And we shall ask the LC chairman to tell us that you will actually live there. And we shall ask the Gombolola Iso to also tell us it is true that what the LC1 has said is true. This person lives in the area. So those are four important things I've mentioned. One, you must have a Uganda advanced certificate of education as a minimum for registration assistant. Number two, you must live in the district where you, you seek to be a registration assistant. Two, three, you must speak the local languages. So if you live in Fort Porto, you are actually a Mtoro, but you cannot speak Mtoro for one reason or another. You do not qualify to apply to be a registration assistant. Then the ISO and the LC1 chairman will tell us that you actually live in that area. The fifth and equally important you must be proficient with computers, not your mobile phone. Kanja ule fanta ni sprite. You must be able to do data capture with a certain level of proficiency. And we shall test that during the interview process.